So there are about 4,000 Alexander Technique teachers in the world, and about 3,920 of them don't have enough work, don't have enough clients. So one of the most frequent topics of conversation among Alexander Technique teachers is, you know, how do you market your services so you get more students? Now, there are two new teachers of Alexander Technique, new meaning in the last five or six years, in California who are just marketing whizzes. They are Amira Alvarez in Berkeley and Sharon Jackie Basie in downtown Los Angeles. They both have these slick, awesome websites that stress the benefits of the Alexander Technique. They don't use the unattractive language of traditional Alexander teaching, such as inhibition and stop and say no, etc., this language that stops so many people from getting Alexander lessons because it sounds so boring and stiff and old-fashioned. So you go to SharonJackieBasie.com, for instance, it's not even a mention of the word Alexander. So I find myself frequently discussing these two teachers with my fellow Alexander teachers, particularly my fellow teachers who are just launching their private practices. We envy their marketing skills and their business savvy. Alexander teachers often come from a performing arts background. Usually they couldn't market to save their lives. So most instructors don't have enough students to earn a living. But now Sharon and Amira here to operate thriving businesses with an easy to follow formula of selling success and happiness and freedom. So I've been thinking a great deal about how much do I want to borrow from their approach market my own private practice. So in particular, Sharon Jackie Basie never ceases to amaze me. I listen to her on the radio, I see her on Facebook, I watch her videos on YouTube, and I talk about her marketing approach probably more than that of any other Alexander teacher. I just wonder if I could ever have the stones to follow in her footsteps. So I have a tick of saying to myself in uncomfortable situations such as these, well, that's just not me, I'm a, not a marketer. That's the easy way out. If I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to stay broke and miserable. I need to learn to market my new skills, and there may be no better role than Sharon Jackie Basie. One of the interesting things that she does is she even teaches the Alexander Technique via Skype. I don't know of any other Alexander teachers doing that. So I know many psychotherapists do it, so why not Alexander teachers? Now, traditional Alexander teacher will protest and they say you, know, you can't teach the technique over Skype, but what if it works? Obviously many students find benefit from it or they would not pay for it. Now there is a downside to marketing the benefits of the technique rather than the technique itself and that is what if the benefits that you sell don't happen in the first place? say, a package of 10 lessons that you sell. Let's say you sell a package of 10 lessons for $1,000 to make someone slim, sexy, successful, and stress-free for the holidays, to use a slogan from Sharon's website. What happens if it doesn't take after 10 lessons? Some people are just going to advance slowly with their Alexander lessons. They may not see dramatic changes until after more than 30 lessons. So indeed, there are probably people out there who are just not capable of the cognitive work necessary to succeed in Alexander technique and no amount of lessons would, would help them. So that could be the downside of marketing yourself as an Alexander teacher by stressing the benefits of the technique because your student may not achieve promised results in 10 or 20 lessons. So as Alexander teachers we can only teach a technique to willing and able students. We can't really guarantee results, we can't heal. That's our mantra that we all learn in our training schools anyway. We're not healers, we're here to help people become aware of their habits of needless compression, and to show them how to let go of those habits that don't serve them. So letting go of unnecessary muscular hoarding, for instance, will usually enable most people to live more sexually, successfully, stress-free, even though 90% of Alexander teachers would not use that language. Looking at a website called backschool.com.au, it's out of Brisbane, Australia. Veteran Alexander teacher and yoga instructor Karen Chapman has this elaborate website that says, Welcome to your new pain free way of life with the Alexander technique. But well, what if you take 30 lessons and you still have pain? If your pain comes from needless tension, a good Alexander teacher can alert you to your habits of compression and they can show you how to let go of this needless hoarding. But if your pain comes from other sources than your own use, then Alexander technique may not be of much help. 
So the one good thing about Alexander teachers is that they never make the pain worse. That's why our insurance liability bills are like $150 a year. My first Alexander lesson came at the end of July of 2008, and Julia Corder was my teacher, and she's got this beautiful new website, the Alexander Technique of Santa Monica.com. She has a great quote from Kenneth Branagh, the famous actor and director. The Alexander Technique is remarkable. Julia Corder is an excellent teacher. I highly re recommend both. Now, her website's gorgeous, yet it is still classical Alexander pedagogy. Here's a quote. The Alexander Technique is not about doing, it is about undoing those habits that unconsciously add work, stress, and pain to daily life. That's the classical way of teaching the technique. You can't promise people a pain-free or a stress-free life if they take Alexander lessons. You can't really promise these results. All you can promise is to show them a technique for letting go of needless compression, needless bodily tension, needless muscular holding patterns. So I got hooked on Alexander Technique. I got attracted to it by a book called uh, The Style Life Challenge by Neil Strauss. He wrote, because posture is key not just to your confidence and appearance, but also to your health. I prepared an extra credit video tutorial for you online. It provides the basics on Alexander Technique, a school of movement that improves not just the way you stand, walk, and sit, but also the way you speak and feel about yourself. So that's what hooked me in May, June of 2008, and then a couple of months I started taking lessons and then decided to become a teacher. <laughs>